All right, let's cut in and listen into uh, Pirosha and uh, the numbers this time around for Godrej Properties. Um, the, the year has ended on a very good note for us at Godrej Properties. The fourth quarter saw us add three new projects to our portfolio, two redevelopment projects here in Mumbai and a new profit-sharing joint venture in Pune. Uh, we also had four new project launches this quarter. Um, all of which have seen a good response. One was in Ahmedabad, one in Kolkata, and two here in Mumbai, including our very important commercial project, Codridge BKC. Um, so I think that the fourth quarter has gone well. Our net profit for the fourth quarter has increased by 34% over the previous uh, corresponding quarter. Uh, but I think more than just the fourth quarter, we feel the full financial year for Godrich Properties has been a very strong one. Um, despite the, the poor macroeconomic environment and the relative underperformance of the real estate sector this year, Godrich Properties has seen a 28% growth in its revenues, um, a 41% increase in its net profit, and a 43% increase in EBITDA. Um, what's perhaps been even more encouraging than that is the success we've had in terms of our bookings growth. We've seen an area sold this year of about 4.1 million square feet, which is 58% higher than um, FY12. In value terms, that's increased by even more, by 71%. And actually, in terms of bookings, for the first time, we've crossed US dollar 500 million um, in new sales this year. And again, this is despite the, the sector on a whole having a pretty flat um, year. So I think that's been very encouraging. Um, what's really allowed this, we feel, is the great success we've had with new launches this year. So in total, we've launched about 13 projects in six cities in all parts of the country. Um, some of our most successful launches have been in the major target markets for us of NCR, Mumbai and Bangalore. For example, in September we launched our project in Gurgaon uh, called Godrej Summit where we sold about 1 million square feet in a single day. Our project Godrej Platinum in Vikroli has seen very good progress. We've uh, increased prices there year on year by about 40% despite the market as a whole not being that strong. Our project Godrej E-City in Bangalore uh, so about 400,000 square feet of sales during the year. We actually expected to launch only one phase of that project, but were able to launch a second phase um, ahead of schedule. Um, we also have ensured that we can sustain this kind of momentum going forward by adding eight new projects to our portfolio uh, this financial year, which is one of the best ever. We expect these to add a huge amount of future profit with very limited amounts of in-year investment. So despite having added eight new projects, our net debt both in Q4 and for the full financial year has actually seen a year-on-year -year decrease, uh, which is quite encouraging to us. And I think one of the decisions our board took today to ensure that we do have the financial uh, ability to continue to uh, expand at this rate is that we've decided to uh, go in for a rights issue, um, which we hope to complete in Q2 of the current financial year, and through which we hope to create uh, the funding necessary to continue to be able to grow our portfolio very rapidly without requiring in any way uh, to stretch our balance sheet. So I think on most fronts in terms of new launches, new bookings, sales and profitability growth and new business development, uh, we're very happy with the year we've had and with that we of course be very happy to take any questions you have. Sure, I think, you know, as of now, what's been decided is that we will uh, do a rights issue. The exact pricing of the issue, the amount of capital uh, that we'll raise is something that will be decided along, uh, uh, along the sort of process. But we expect to raise up to 700 crores through this. And uh, what, what is your current data? It's just under 1,500 crores. What is the outlook of faculty in terms of launches in the real estate sector? You know, I think, uh, I, I think the sector should, uh, and I'm speaking just for the sector now, should have a much better year, we think, in FY 2014 than it did in, in 2013 um, for, for several reasons. One, we think, of course, the past year was one of the worst ever uh, from an economic growth standpoint. So I think, you know, GDP growth in FY 2013 was the lowest in, in 10 years. And we expect that uh, to improve in, in 2014 particularly given at least some momentum that's now come in in the reform process. Um, we think that it will be a key signal. But even more than that, I think the interest rate cycle turning, uh, particularly for the real estate sector, is going to be a very big benefit. 
Um, interest rates have been reduced several times by the RBI already over the last few months. The benefit of those rate cuts will start unfolding uh, over the next few months, and we expect further rate cuts uh, along the year. So I think uh, we're quite optimistic that the year should be a better one for, for, for the sector and for the economy as a whole. Um, and as for Goldrich Properties, certainly we uh, would like to continue uh, in ensuring that we're growing at a rapid clip in FY14. I think one of the reasons we've been adding projects so quickly is that we do see quite a lot of opportunity for those projects. Um, so we've already added our first project of 2014 uh, a few days ago. We hope to continue to add many more new projects uh, in the current year. And of course, all of the projects that we've added um, in the past year, we hope to launch uh, in, the, in the current year, which, which should give us a good opportunity to, to grow in terms of new launches. Kodesh so property is a little, uh, a little subdued post those numbers coming out. Uh, the writing issue expected to be completed by Q2. That's the word coming in from Pirosha Godrej. We take a quick break, continue with Countdown on the other side. Countdown, presented by BSC, Investors Protection Fund.